There's this television show that takes different parts of the world and shows you what it would be like if humans stopped existing. They'll fast forward through the years and you can watch entire buildings and cities crumble and decline as there are none of us around to maintain them. What impresses me most is how quickly most of our buildings and infrastructure crumbles. In one episode, they showed Flint, Michigan, and there, already, entire churches and municipal buildings and entire neighborhoods are crumbling because they've been abandoned. In Scripture, there's a story about the ancient Israelites moving out of exile and back into Jerusalem, and they're supposed to build God's temple. They get started on the temple. They build all of the foundation. Things are going well, but these obstacles start popping up. They decline in their effort, and before you know it, they stop working on the temple altogether and start taking care of only themselves. They built good houses for themselves, planted great crops for themselves, and forgot about building the temple for 16 years. They get stuck in this spiritual decline for so long that God sends a prophet to tell them what's happening. In Haggai chapter 1, verses 3 through 11, we can read, Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai, is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains a ruin? Now this is what the Lord Almighty says, Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much but harvested little. You eat but never have enough. You drink but never have your fill. You put on clothes but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says, give careful thought to your ways. Go up into the mountains and bring down timber and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty, because of my house, which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with your own house. Therefore, because of you, the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth its crops. I called for a drought on the fields and the mountains, on the grain, the new wine, the olive oil, and everything else the ground produces, on people and livestock, and on all the labor of your hands. These same drought-like conditions can happen to our faiths and ministries. You might think we can take some time off from our relationship with God, but if we're not careful, there will be a slow decline all around us until before we realize it, our faiths, our ministries that we were running, the kingdom work we were doing is all in crumbles and we are broken and dead. My hope is that we can avoid this pitfall of slow decline by opening our eyes to the decline that is around us and by changing our direction by lifting one another up in our community of faith, by celebrating with one another the blessings of God, by praying with each other and growing together as we work toward God's kingdom.